Okay, so quick video on how to lay your tack strip down uh, for carpet. Like, I'm not a professional at this, but I have found an easy way to do it if for whatever reason you cannot nail them down, okay? So granted, you're given these nails in here. So first of all, if you're not a professional, I recommend you getting the larger nails, uh, the larger gauge nails. Uh, they should be in the same department and usually that's what they sell in the big box stores is the next size up because if you ever hit one of these you'll notice if this concrete is old and hard uh, these bend really easily also uh, maybe some shorter ones will help real you real quick uh, these are the nails that I are the only nails that were available at the big box store that you could purchase for cement next to that uh, tack strip it's 5 8 by 10 gauge, so that's the thickness and that's the length, okay? And you can see the difference in size here. So these are the ones I pulled out of the tack strip. And as you can see, these are significantly more robust. They're less pr uh, prone to bending. And they might be the same size. They look a little shorter, but I don't know if they're, they just round it up. Uh, on the length or if you could actually get these in that length exactly just because it looks like it's uh, marginal as far as the difference in length but the diameter you could definitely see the difference in diameter and the head is also bigger as well but what I found out is my concrete when I hit it on one side it'd stay in go 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 and then when I get to about right here, if you don't hold this side down, it's gonna pop up and flake. So uh, to eliminate that problem, all I did was get rid of the damn screw or the damn nails in here. So I got rid of those large nails and I went with the anchor and screw, okay? So in order for you to do the anchor and screw setup, you need, of course, a masonry bit or cement bit and a hammer drill so it has to have that little t on it okay so if you don't have one of those it's not going to work as effective and basically what you do is you pair this bit up to the correct size of your anchor which is this one here okay depending on the size you want to go this is what i had uh, i recommend going smaller if you can okay and then just like how you would do regular z bar this is what's recommended for your carpet. Um, basically, it's a flat piece of uh, folded steel in the shape of a Z. And you have uh, you have your, um, your tack strip on here, okay? Tacks are facing this way. So when the carpet slides over, it hooks, or it slides over, and then when it pulls back, it hooks, okay? And then uh, you have this, a big enough gap, so that way your carpet, once it's folded, it could tuck underneath it. And then you could tap this down like such and kind of hold that carpet down and give you a nice edge. But that's not why I shot this video. The main reason why I'm shooting this little quick video is because the, um, the, the nails, I'm having a rough time with them. So I did that and now I could go along and hit the nails in. So I put one there, one here, one here. But now I could go into the holes that are available and drive those nails back down. Um, whether it's gonna be the stock nails that come with it, so these ones, or if you buy extra nails, doesn't really matter uh, as long as it's holding down for you to uh, hit it if you're not a professional. This stuff's a pain in the ass to put in. Um, so yeah. This padding is horrible. I know it's tore, um, but this is, you know, this carpet needs to get cleaned um, until we can replace it. But for now, we're just gonna fold it down and uh, cut a straight line. Remember you want maybe, you want maybe about the length of this or the width of this sticking out. So about right here. So that way you could tuck it down under. If for whatever reason you don't like this tack strip, uh, set up you could always put a threshold like how your door is 
uh, in here and use those same anchors to lug that down it, uh, if you're trying to get rid of this. Or you could add additional anchor uh, points for you to lug that down on top of this if for whatever reason your carpet keeps coming undone, okay? So I'm gonna give you a, a real quick tip on how to lay this tack strip down if you're having trouble uh, with the nails like we all do that aren't professionals. It's probably going to be frowned upon, but hey, it's going to get the job done. So that's going to complete today's little quick video. Uh, I hope it helps someone out out there who's having trouble with this and doesn't want to hire someone to put this stuff in. If it did, give it a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. If you want to see content like this and the other renovation content I'll be posting in the near future, consider subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.